Good evening from Dubai and welcome to the University of Northampton's Master of Business Administration webinar. My name is Professor Tim Campbell. I'm a visiting professor of international management at the university and also a uh, also tutor on the program itself, the MBA. So welcome from, whenever, from wherever you're watching this. I'm coming to you from my house in D Dubai um, because of the uh, situation, of course, that uh, I'm getting quite used to giving these, these virtual talks. Um, but as I say, welcome, for, uh, welcome to you all. What I'm going to do tonight, very briefly, is just look at a presentation of the Northampton uh, MBA program for just 10 or 15 minutes. Just point out a few highlights of the program, particularly from my perspective, from uh, somebody who actually teaches on it and knows the program very well. And then any questions that you have, we'll get to. So just before we look at the university, uh, the university's MBA program, just a word about uh, Stafford and how Stafford fits into the picture and helps with the university. Uh, now you've all, I'm sure, had a look at the website, but just a very brief bit about Stafford. It was the very first provider of distance learning education in the Middle East, uh, established, what, 27 years ago now. And it's currently the resource center for five British universities and offers nearly 60 different programs and certificates to doctorates. But the role of Stafford is to market, recruit, and provide administration and student support in the region, particularly here in the Middle East, which is where the intake for this MBA program occurs. It's normally taught here in the United Arab Emirates, certainly the workshops. Um, but it's, it's in, and this is of course much easier for Stafford to do because it's in the region than it is for the University of Northampton to do from the UK. So that's how Stafford supports the university, marketing the program, recruiting students. But once you get on the program, you are entirely a student of the University of Northampton, and that's where your degree comes from, and that's where your tutors and everything else comes from. So that's just a word about Stafford. On to Northampton. Northampton's a town, a big arrow there, in England, about 100 kilometres north of London, about an hour on the train, a very old historic town. And in Northampton, you will find the University of Northampton. It used to be just on the outside of the town, but the university built an entirely new campus right in the middle of the town, which opened two years ago now. And it's everything within that sort of red dotted bit there. And so it's an, an extremely impressive campus. And interestingly, it was actually built around blended learning. So a combination of face-to-face -face and uh, online delivery. So it's got, uh, so it was built uh, with sort of the highest quality of technology and infrastructure all around that, all around that. And of course, because of COVID, it's been a, a jump ahead of everybody else because everything it's, it's, it does is designed around the idea of distance learning. Um, and that was a huge investment, half a billion dollars worth. So fantastic campus that's now right in the middle of Northampton. And education in Northampton dates back an awfully long way, back to about the 13th century. But the modern University of Northampton dates its origins to about 100 years ago when it was a technical college. And it currently has somewhere in the range of 14,000 students and 1,500 staff. Uh, you can, of course, have a look at the university's website itself, which I'm sure you will, and you find out all sorts of information about it. I've just picked out a couple of things. The fact that it's accredited as a Teaching Excellence Framework Gold Award, which is an accreditation, or which was an accreditation or ranking by the universe, uh, by the government, UK government rather, about teaching excellence in universities. And you either get a gold, silver, or a bronze, and Northampton's there with the gold. All right, let's look at the MBA program. Here's what it looks like. There's eight modules, as you can see. You start off with critical issues in business and make your way all the way around to the business research project. In total, it takes about 18 months, and these modules are about 10 weeks apart. So you do the workshop, the critical issues in business, and I'll talk about workshops in a moment. Um, and then you would hand in the assignments, you do your next module, the workshop, hand in your assignments, etc., making your way around. 
And it's a nice program. It's a nice mix of sort of contemporary topics such as leadership and innovation and critical issues, talks about all sorts of sustainability and risks and all sorts of things like that. But as well as the fundamentals of an MBA program, which is the different functions of management, such as uh, human resource management and operations and finance and accounting and that type of thing. So a nice mix of that traditional and the issues we deal with in the, in, in the current world. Um, so how is it taught? As I mentioned, it takes about 18 months from start to finish. There's eight of these workshops in total. Now these, up until COVID, were taught over weekends, or certainly weekends here in the Middle East, a Friday and a Saturday, where the tutor would fly in, you would be taught those contact hours for the Friday and the Saturday, the tutor would fly out, you'd be supported by the virtual learning environment until you hand in your assignments. But it's important to notice now that because of COVID, these workshops are just the same, they're live, you have the tutor here um, teaching you, but they're done virtually and they will be done virtually until further notice, until we can get back to that face-to-face -face routine. So that's the only difference to the program because of the situation we're in now, just that the workshops are taught virtually rather than face-to-face -face for the time being. The next start, take, uh, the next start date rather is incredibly the 26th intake, and we have three intakes a year, so you can see it's been going for a long time. I think the first intake was 2012, if I remember rightly, so a long time. This is the UAE intake, of course, uh, which, which caters for all the Middle East, and it will start in the end of February 2021 as the next intake. We'll have the full timetable within a couple of weeks, and your consultant at staff will, will uh, send it straight to you. So that's the program itself. What actually happens in these workshops? So when you do the live face-to-face -face or live virtual sessions as they are now, it differs a little depending on the subject matter, but generally your lecturers are gonna introduce key concepts. They'll use short case studies, exercises, business games, these types of things. They'll demonstrate where to find resources, books, articles, etc., which are all online, by the way, all accessed through the electronic library at Northampton. And then importantly, explain how to successfully complete the assignments. And these workshops really are uh, beneficial. Students do like them. The satisfaction is more than 95%. Also, a very good opportunity not just to meet the lecturer, but the other people in your class as well. So great for networking. Uh, so assessment, all modules are assessed through some form of an assignment. So it might be an essay, it might be a, a report, a case study. Uh, half of the finance module is assessed by a um, multiple choice quiz, but it's no exams. It's some form of uh, assignment based. Um, and the reason for that is the university, the MBA program, prefers their students to be, have the time to think and develop their assignments rather than do exams which more so test your memory more than anything. Um, and these assessments are also very much linked to the workplace itself. And the big thing, the business research project, some of you might know as a dissertation, is about 15,000 words. So that's assessment for the modules. Entry requirements, they're pretty standard for an MBA program, a bachelor's degree and two years relevant work experience. But if you don't have a bachelor's, you need more work experience. And we're looking for about five years or more of that. And when I say relevant work experience, it doesn't mean you have to have the word manager in the title, but that you have some sort of managerial responsibilities such as planning work, organizing, leading, controlling, these types of things. And if you have that type, of, that amount of work experience, you'll find that no matter what you're doing, it is likely you are going to have some of those responsibilities. Loads of support for the program. There's the international program leader, a lady called Rani, who takes the business research med methods module, and you'll meet her there. There's the local program leader, which is the, the job I take on, and there's an expert tutor for every module, of course. There's administration, the whole of the university's administration system. Plus, we also have the, the administration at Stafford to help you out if you need pointing in the right direction. You can't find what you're looking for. 
every module has its own virtual learning environment. It's called the Northampton Integrated Learning Environment. And on this site, this is where you'll find all the materials you'll need. You'll find the link to the virtual classroom. It's where you submit your assignments. It's where your tutor makes announcements, everything like that. This whole VLE, and there's a separate one for every module that you'll be enrolled with. And there's an online library at the university that has millions of journal articles, of uh, e-books, electronic books, and all uh, newspaper articles, of all manner of resources. Everything you need is at the, uh, a couple of clicks of a mouse. So plenty of support with the program. And importantly, of course, is the price. It is a very competitive price. Remember, it's not taught online program. It's a part-time program that has face-to-face fly-in workshops when we can. As I mentioned a number of times, the only difference is now that those tutors are holding them virtually. But you have the synchronous, the live teaching sessions. Um, and it's a part-time program, not online. So as I say, it is a very competitive price. And if you have a look at the Stafford's workshop, uh, website, you'll get the latest fee information because fees can change between intakes. So make sure you go there to get the most up-to-date price. Another good thing of why the Northampton MBA, the duration, 18 months is about right. It's not too long, so you lose motivation, but it's not too short, that it's too difficult to do, and balance work and family commitments and everything else as well. There's lots of support. I mentioned the teaching is very beneficial. Students like it. And they also like the assessment methods as well. And just this, a word from me here. You know, why the Northampton MBA? Because it strongly emphasizes vocational or practical job related learning as well as the theories. This is attractive to employers who are more interested in practical knowledge and also makes studying for the MBA more enjoyable and relevant to the students. Really, a statement for me, which I think why, why the Northampton MBA is a good choice. Okay, I think I've done pretty well. Probably bang on, look at that, bang on 15 minutes, just where I wanted to be. So please do let me have any questions. The easiest way to do that is using the question box on the right on your little panel there. And let me bring out my questions and see what we've got. Uh, okay, dokie. We've got uh, just a few questions tonight, which is, firstly, do you accept exemptions based on extensive managerial work experience? Uh, we don't, not based on work experience. We would give exemptions based on, uh, acad uh, based on academic prior learning. So for example, if you had studied an MBA program at another university, you hadn't completed, but let's say you completed the accounting and finance module, we could um, map that to the finance module on the our MBA program. And if they map, you could get an exemption. So we could do for academic prior learning, but not for work experience. And the reason for that is you might have many years working as a marketer, for example, but you may well learn something new in the marketing module because you may not have a, you may not have looked at all the different theories that come with it. So on managerial work experience, no, it's best to do the, uh, you need to do the whole program, although that experience will help you a lot in the assessments, because a lot of the assessments ask you about your work experience. Uh, but we can for academic prior learning. Next question, will the workshops cover the assignment topics? Yeah, that's a big part of the workshops really, is to tell, uh, to let the students know exactly what you need to do not just to pass your assessments, but to do well in the assessments, exactly what the tutor wants. The tutor, by the way, is the person marking your assignments, so they can tell you exactly what they want. And just my last question, why are there no specialisations in the MBA? We do have, and of course you'll be well aware, there are MBAs that have specialisation. But traditionally, the MBA actually never had any specialisations. It was always just considered a general MBA. And it was that way because it was considered, the whole idea about the MBA was that you would learn about the different functions of business, about finance and accounting, about human resource management, about operations, about marketing strategy, etc. 
And the idea was that it didn't matter which organization you came for, it didn't matter which position you were in an organization, every manager needs to understand the different parts of the business. So initially, all MBAs were exactly the same. They were general MBAs that you taught. But then more recently, specialisms and MBAs did appear where you would spend more time on one particular area than the other. And they can be useful to you, but just consider your career when, uh, when you're deciding on to do a general MBA or a specialist. If you want to keep your options open, move really into any sort of different position, higher up organizations, you're better with a general MBA. If you see yourself in a particular specialism for the rest of your career, that's when you should look at the specialist MBA. So this is a general MBA suitable for everybody. Well, not too many questions tonight, which is absolutely fine, because if you do have anything else, you can always just email me. And there's my email address. Okay then, thanks everyone. Hope you've enjoyed, hope you found that useful. As I say, any questions, always just let me know. And for now, I hope to see you on the program and bye for now.